And good afternoon, video two of today in the dungeon. Coming special from the dungeon is a mini collection photo. What you're seeing are my regular Riptides, my two Avarnas, my three Custom 109 Zaku Gundams, half of my Farsight uh, Enclave battle suits. As you know, some of them aren't finished in various stages of production. I'm waiting on custom pressed parts to come in from a friend in New Orleans. That way I can continue my Macross team. They're going to have some Macross arms like the model right here in the middle. So we have Macross legs and feet. And again, as always, you know, Draconis Quadrant. I had to do three bases for the massive HQ. Or the full HQ, I should say. So my first Zaku conversion turned out decently. I don't like how some of the molding didn't hold together when I was customizing the legs. As you can see, it's not a stocky model. It's not really balanced, so I'm going to have to work on that. This one, kind of the same issue. I stuck with the regular legs and torso, but I, as you notice, I riptided out the arm sockets where the shoulders would go and the jets would go. Again, not a fan. So, version 3 that I like the best was just sticking with the stock Zaku. And what will end up happening will be magnetizing the arms and putting the Riptide weapons on there. But because it's a Gundam 109 and the weapons are not stock like a regular Riptide, I'm going to go get more Zaku parts to customize the weapons so they will match. So going down the line, Unit 1, a.k.a. the Green Goblin. Unit 2, Forgiveness. Unit 3, 37 Shells, also known as KS7, Cut Sinister 7. Unit 4, The Law. Unit 5, The Pharaoh. Unit 6, Mighty O. Unit 5, a.k.a. Knee Deep. And then last but never the least, Darkness. Darkness was the first rip that I'd done that wasn't bought. Unit 63 was the first bought one, but it was perfect for the Taoon color, so I used it in my initial games. The first one I built and painted was 07. So, the plan is to eventually retire Unit 07 and replace and rebuild him. I'll have two Unit 7s, but the, this one we put on a shelf. As with the other ones that are becoming more broken and battered from poor shipping arrangements. The Ravarna's quite happy with. This one has the most damage, and again, it's going to be when I have the time and the nerves and the patience to replace. Still, working pain in process. So, thank you guys for watching the update. It's been a pleasure having you as always. Kikai on Akuma Akuma. Click, share, subscribe, make comments, and my only hobby is not 40k. I like building plastic models. So I'd like to give a shout out to my former student Daniel for adding me to a San Antonio Goompla group where we talk about hobby-based modeling. Talk to you soon.